Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have summer pineapple DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. We've had lemons and watermelons, and I thought I would show you some pineapple DIYs as well. So let's get started with our first DIY. We're gonna take one of these little tinsel pineapples from the summer section at Dollar Tree and remove all of the tinsel on it. Be careful though, it does get messy. <laughs> And I basically just want the little pineapple cage under here. And we're gonna decorate this and make it really pretty. What I wanna decorate today is my coffee bar with a summer pineapple theme, but also a tear tray as well. So lots of DIY ideas for you. Now this is what we're gonna form the pineapple with. These little wood curl roses or like solo wood flowers from the Dollar Tree. You get four in a package. And I want to form the actual pineapple part with these. I thought that'd be great. They're wood, so I'm gonna leave them just raw wood. And I think it's gonna give a really fun texture that's gonna kind of make it look like a pineapple. So I can fit one to two in each one. They're all slightly a little bit different sizes. So you kind of have to um, lay them out, kind of see what fits. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a second row. I started with that row in the middle. And then just filling this one in. If one fits, if two fits, I'm just trying to get them as close together as I can to form the surface of the pineapple. And this turned out really cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to pull this off. And this was the first time I think I crafted with these, but I absolutely love them. Now, as you can see, it's gonna take quite a few of those wood curl roses. Like you get four in a package. Well, I'll count them up here at the end to try to figure out how many packages I used because I honestly don't remember. But I always love these. I always pick them up when I see them just because I think they're so pretty. And I'm just gluing to that cage. Here is the final row over here. So it looks like a total of five rows um, is going to fill it up. So I'm just kind of using, you know, the way the existing structure was set up with five rows going down and just hot gluing that to the structure. Now it's not super secure and I am gonna reinforce these a little bit cause I wasn't so sure this was gonna stay together and it was so pretty, I definitely want it to stay together. So there is row number four and now we can just fill in the last row. I thought we could do like the little Sola wood flowers here for the pineapple body and then we could do um like some fun greenery for the top of the pineapple and this was kind of the star of the show on my coffee bar it was like definitely the coolest thing i think i made and so i'm trying to reinforce it um with a little bit more hot glue but i still didn't think it was going to be strong enough so what i'm going to do is try to line the back of it with just some burlap i'm just going to cut down a piece to size to kind of make a back to it. That way I kind of have something um, to glue to the back of those. That's gonna kind of glue everything together. So I put hot glue on all the flowers and then I just set the burlap on the back. It's gonna give it like more of a finished back too, but it also gave something for all those flowers to stick to besides the cage. And it made it a lot sturdier and it looks nice in the background there too, for if you can see in between any of the flowers. Now for the top, I'm gonna cut off some of the cage because I thought it was gonna kind of get in the way for what I wanna do. I only wanna leave part of the cage on there to give me something to attach my greenery to. And this is the foliage that I chose to use. It is from Dollar Tree. It's kind of like, you know, a two color um, leaf. I thought it would make a really cool pineapple top. Um, I wasn't going for something that really looked like the top of a pineapple. But you know, I'm trying to make some pineapple art here. So um, when you pull these off, they kind of come two at a time. And so I'm just gonna leave them attached to each other and then just start hot gluing these on. And I'm hot gluing these to what I left of the cage. I just left that one section that you can see there. 
and I'm kind of having them all kind of stand up and off to the side to kind of give it the shape of a pineapple. And I really like the combination of these two things that we use to make the pineapple. It's very, um, very pretty pineapple. And so this one I decided to split up because I had two areas that I thought needed maybe another leaf, one at the top and one at the bottom. And I just attached those with hot glue. Then I decided, you know, I think it needs more. So I did have a second package, and so I'm gonna add a few more leaves here as well. Just to kind of fill it up a little bit. Kind of clean up all of my hot glue strings there. Heat gun works great for that. And this is how it looks on my coffee bar. Isn't it cute? A little solo wood pineapple DIY. The next pineapple DIY I have for you, this is an old thrifted sign that I got at Goodwill and I've remade it a hundred times and that's what I'm gonna do here. Basically, I'm gonna try to pop off everything that I had on there before. Note to self, don't use that much hot glue. <laughs> and then start over. I wanted to make just a cute little pineapple sign for the top of my coffee bar and to kind of set the scene for this. So I kind of want to cover up everything that I had on there before. And so I'm just going to give myself like a white canvas just by going over this palette sign. And I think I got this sign for like a couple of dollars at Goodwill. And I think I've made it on here, remade it on here like 20 times. There's so many coats of paint on this, but I love it. <laughs> And it's great if you don't have a lot of storage, like I really don't have very much storage in my house, but I'm just gonna paint this. Um, it's kind of an ivory color of chalk paint, just all over, just to give myself a blank canvas. And then I wanted to see if we could do some lettering with these Dollar Tree letter stickers. I know some of you don't have crickets, so I wanted to try to see if we could do some stenciling with these um, and kind of see how that turns out without like actual stencils or vinyl from my Cricut. Even though I definitely prefer that way because you can definitely customize it, but they have different fonts like this at Dollar Tree. So I thought we would give it a try. So I wanna spell out sweet summer on this little pineapple sign. So I did those letters for sweet and then I thought I would mix it up with like this different font for summer. Now, the top font definitely worked better because this one, they're kind of like bubble letters. So um, the sticker itself is kind of larger than, you know, like the actual letter, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. So I'm using Caribbean Blue, one of my favorite colors, and it's great for summer, it's great for coastal. And I'm gonna go over the whole sign, just painting directly over those Dollar Tree stickers to kind of see if we can get like a stencil effect with that. Now, this is what I'm gonna use for the pineapple. It's these little paper cutouts from the Dollar Tree, and it is so pretty. And I thought that would be great over on the left part of my sign. There was also like a pineapple ring in there, but I thought that might be too much. Now, I don't really want you to see like the paper border on it. I kind of want it to look like it's like painted on to the little coffee bar sign. So I'm just gonna go around and cut off all of, you know, just the border off of this, just to kind of make it look like it was painted on and not like a piece of paper like glued to it. So I kind of wanna see if we can hide it. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and cut it um, so that it like is actually cut between the boards. That's gonna kind of make it look more painted on too. And then I'm gonna attach the pieces with Mod Podge to my sign, just lining that up with my board. Also doing some Mod Podge over the top. And that definitely helps the effect. I really like when I'm adding paper like this to cut the items like that. Uh, it just makes it look definitely more hand painted, which is what I was going for. So we're gonna Mod Podge on the middle section of our pineapple. And I love crafting with these paper cutouts from Dollar Tree. They have so many cute things. You can really make some cute stuff, really inexpensive. And here is the top of our pineapple. Now, my goal with putting down the stickers under for Sweet Summer there and painting blue over is that I'm gonna be left with like that white color that we had underneath of that for a background. 
to see if we can fill that in a little bit. So we got all of our pineapple down and now it's kind of the moment of truth. We're gonna use a Cricut weeder, kind of pull these off. And you can see it did a pretty good job, especially if this one had a little bit of bleeding, but overall not too bad. You don't wanna leave it on too long for sure. Now I wasn't as happy with these and this is kind of why um, since they're cut out larger than the actual font, it just makes them look a little not very distinctive, kind of harder to read, but we're gonna actually paint these some more, but this is gonna give me a good base to work with to spell out Sweet Summer. I try not to put anything, like any writing or anything on the bottom board because I usually have stuff sitting in front of it on my coffee bar. But to kind of counteract that on this font, I decided to use my paint pens and kind of go in and kind of paint that letter back on there on each one. And so then the white part, you know, it has the border around it, just kind of like the sticker letters originally were. And we're just doing that with a green paint pen which is kind of gonna go with, you know, the green tops of the pineapples. And I'm just kind of going with the, you know, you can kind of figure out where the letters need to be just by having the edges. Then I also wanted to add a little bit more color. So I decided to make sweet and yellow just to make it more colorful, yellow like the pineapple. And this was just like coloring. I just had to color all of them in with my yellow paint pen. Now I'm gonna distress the whole thing with ivory to kind of make it look more coastal farmhouse. It definitely makes that paper pineapple look a little bit more um, hand painted. And I wipe off any of the excess um, distressing paint with a baby wipe, kind of go back and forth. I also distress all of my letters just to kind of give it the same vibe until I'm happy with the level of distress. And it turned out pretty cute and no Cricut was involved just a couple items from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you how this looks. Um, and for my summer coffee bar, I hung it at the very top on these little hooks. And this is a great sign for summer. You're getting a sneak peek there of some of the other DIYs we're getting ready to make as well, including this one. I picked up this great little plastic pineapple tray at Dollar Tree, and I thought the texture was beautiful on it, and I thought we could kind of paint it to make it look like, you know, the colors of a pineapple and bring out all that beautiful texture on the tray. It's a nice large piece too, so I thought this would do really well in my coffee bar. I just painted the top part where the pineapple leaves are Christmas green, just a nice bright green color. And then for the pineapple part, I thought I would try Antique Wax by Waverly. Um, this does take a while to dry, so make sure you don't touch it or anything. And in the meantime, you definitely kind of have to let this sit, but it gives you just a great texture. See how close that is to like the colors of a pineapple? And then it's bringing out all that great texture on there, kind of like a pineapple has. So I think it worked really well. I'm trying to add more um, just to kind of make it a little bit more colorful, but you don't want to mess with it too much. But as you can see, when it dries, it dried beautifully. Now I just need to make a stand. I'm gonna use one of these little round circle frames from Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, but I wanted to kind of blend into our pineapple. So I'm staining the base of it with that Antique Wax by Waverly too, just to kind of have it blend in and match the pineapple. And then I'm going to hot glue that to the back of the tray and that's gonna make the pineapple stand up. You could always use a plate rack or something like that too, but this is how it looks on my coffee bar. It was so easy to make, and I think it turned out so cute for a little pineapple. Okay, next DIY, I'm sure you guys have seen these. They have these every year. They are the little tinsel pineapples. They're really cute size and everything, but again, they're covered with this tinsel stuff. I am not a fan, so I'm gonna remove all the tinsel on this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna remove the greenery. I wasn't a big fan of that as well, but you could use it if you needed to. And then I thought we could just make a little rope pineapple using some of the thinner brown rope from the Dollar Tree and wrap that pineapple cage. And then one of these little succulent picks from the Dollar Tree as well. 
I thought would make the perfect top for the pineapple and it's gonna look so much more realistic than what was on there before. Now, sometimes when you take these cages apart, they kind of fall apart like that. So you might have to put them back together, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like try to pinch them back together. I tried with some pliers that worked good, but you might need to hot glue that as well. You just kind of need it to stay together to start with. And then I start right here at the top and I don't want to fill in that hole because I want to be able to put that little succulent pick in there. And I'm only going to use hot glue when I need to. Otherwise, you know, the tension of the rope just wrapping around is going to help keep that cage together that kind of wanted to fall apart too. And this is how far one package of rope goes. Almost to the bottom. And we're going to glue that on right there. And then I was worried that you were going to be able to see that it did not go all the way to the bottom. So I am going to have to fill that in with just a little bit more rope. So I just started a new package and then I went all the way to the bottom of the pineapple to fill it all the way in. This little pineapple DIY was so easy to make and it turned out so cute. This would be really cute on a pineapple tear tray as well. Once I get all of my rope on there, I'm just gonna burn off all my fuzzies with a lighter just to clean it up a little bit. And now I just need to add the little succulent pick to the top. I hot glue mine in so it doesn't fall apart. And I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think about my little rope pineapple DIY? I think it looks so much better than it did before. What do you think? Okay, next DIY. This one's really easy. I picked up some of these Summer Vibes uh, pineapple napkins at Dollar Tree and then just a little Dollar Tree sign. And I thought this was going to be such an easy idea. I can just cover the back of the sign. It's going to make a little stand-up sign for my coffee bar. It's just a matter of removing this tag on the back and decoupaging the napkin onto the sign. So once I got that off, I kind of want a blank canvas because it is white that I'm putting on there. I don't really want this brown background to show through. So I'm just going over the entire back of the sign with just some ivory. And this is going to make the perfect size sign for my coffee bar. So I just unfold my napkin. I just need to cut out one of these designs. You can see it's repeated like four times. And I just want to attach that. It's perfect because it's larger than what I'm going on. You do want to separate your layers though and get down to just one layer. It's the best way to a decoupage with napkins. And it is pretty thin, so you have to be kind of careful while you're doing this. There is a way to do this where you can like dry your Mod Podge, put it on there and then come back with an iron. But I've heard that does take a while because you have to like let your Mod Podge dry. You can't really use heat and stuff with it. So haven't tried it, but I've heard that it works really well. So I just laid my napkin right on top and I'm just smoothing it out the best that I can with dry fingers. Trying to get rid of any wrinkles, but I don't want to tear anything and glue it down. And it is the perfect size um, image for that sign. And now it's just a matter of cleaning up the leftover napkin on the side, which is so easy to remove with just a sanding sponge from Dollar Tree. And we have a perfect little summer pineapple sign. And it can actually be two-sided because I left the other side intact if I wanted to use that as well. And I think it looks so cute on a summer coffee bar. This would be great for a tear tray as well. Okay, the next DIY, I'm gonna use one of these little pineapples from the summer section. These are the ones that come with the markers, probably for kiddos, but we're gonna DIY with it. And I'm gonna use one of these little signs that I got at the Target dollar spot. You could totally use a Dollar Tree sign for this as well, but I try to pick these up on clearance. Um, whenever they go on clearance at Target dollar spot, they're great thick signs. And um, I wanted to make a coffee bar sign since I'm decorating my coffee bar but I want it to be like pineapple themed. And I also kind of wanted to give a shout out to one of my favorite places, 
um, in Hawaii. And so Hawaii is known for their wonderful coffee. We stayed on a coffee farm there that was so fantastic on the big island. And I kind of wanted to give um, a little shout out to them with this DIY. So I'm just staining it all over. And as you can see, that little marker pineapple looks great stained with just some antique wax by Waverly. Now I'm going to spell out Kona coffee and I'm going to do that with Dollar Tree wood letters for Kona and then the little galvanized metal letters for coffee. As you can see, these are smaller, but it's going to work out perfectly for the size sign that I need. Now be careful when you buy the galvanized metal letters, you're only getting half of the alphabet with that instead of one of each of the alphabet like with the wood letters. And I thought we would make a little Kona coffee sign. We stayed near Kona in Captain Cook, and um, I was really impressed with the coffee there. It was like definitely some of the best coffee I've ever had. Um, I think it was the pour over method that we used. We stayed in a jungle year Airbnb, and um, we I think it was part of the experience was making our own coffee. It's a lot of work, but it turned out so smooth. So I painted my Kona letters Caribbean blue and I'm just staining all of my galvanized metal letters with some antique wax by Waverly and then I thought my pineapple did need a little color even though I stained it so I'm going to go over the top of that stain with a paint pen and I'm just using green for the top of the pineapple that way it's going to leave like all of the edges um, that beautiful stain color and the stain is going to kind of come probably through with the paint a little bit too and kind of look at look a little bit older and distressed but it's just like coloring with a paint pen so easy to do and then i'm going to go in and paint that little um shape on the sides of the pineapples with a yellow paint pen just to brighten that up a little bit and i think it turned out so cute Sometimes these little signs can be kind of hard to paint, but this one was pretty easy. Now for my Kona letters, I kind of want to distress those lightly with a little bit of ivory to kind of give it that coastal farmhouse vibe. I'm also going to go ahead and distress my pineapple with that as well. I'm going to heavily distress it, go back with a baby wipe and just kind of give it a nice weathered look. And then I thought we would put all these items together on that little board sign from Target Dollar Spot to make a really cute little coffee sign. So Kona coffee and then the pineapple here at the bottom. And it's just a matter of hot gluing all of these down. I really like these wood letters from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes I have trouble finding them. I notice they always sell out at my Dollar Tree's first um, and before the numbers, most people don't seem to really want the numbers, but these little galvanized metal letters work great as well. You do have to be careful when you're painting them though, because, um, you know, they can scratch. I was going for a distressed look on mine though. So I kind of wanted them to look like that. That's why I only went over those with one coat of the antique wax by Waverly. And I just glue everything down to my little Kona coffee sign. Now I did want to like kind of finish off the edges. I thought it would be great with a rope frame. They kind of have black edges on this sign from um, Target Dollar Spot. So I'm just using the Dollar Tree thin brown rope and I'm gonna hot glue that all along all four edges. Just continuing the one piece all the way around. It's gonna totally finish off this little coffee bar sign. And I think it looks so cute. And it's a great use for that little pineapple um, that you can get in the summer section right now. I'm gonna burn off the fuzzies and this is how it turned out. And this is how it looks. It looks great between those two larger pineapples that we've already DIY'd and that little summer vibe sign as well. They all look so cute together on the bottom of my coffee bar. Okay, the next DIY, I picked up a luggage tag. You never know where you're gonna find pineapple stuff at Dollar Tree and I found this great little pineapple cup with the, like a little drink umbrella and a straw. And so I thought we'd make just a little sign. I'm gonna use one of these little chunky signs from the Dollar Tree with the burlap already on it. And um, I really, I've used burlap, you know, a little bit and some rope. So I always like those natural elements in my DIYs. It totally goes with like the coastal farmhouse vibe in my house. And so I'm just gonna kind of clean this up a little bit. There were a few nails sticking up. 
And I'm just going to attach our little pineapple cup here to the front. This is gonna be cute for my coffee bar, but this would also be perfect for a tear tray. And I just hot glue that little square um, where you put your like address and stuff in there to glue that on. Then to cover the little slit there in the little luggage tag, I'm just gonna take some Dollar Tree twine, tie a very simple bow, and just glue that on top. It's gonna provide a little decorative touch and it's gonna cover that slit that we didn't really need. And this was a, such a simple little DIY. And this is how it looks on my coffee bar. So cute, totally goes with the pineapple vibes. And summer too. Okay, next DIY, this is the galvanized metal pineapple. I picked up that and one of these little clip-on succulents. Now, I, I see these all the time at Crafter Square at Dollar Tree and I don't always know what to do with them. These little metal items, they have a great stand, but I'm gonna kind of recreate mine. So I cut the leaves off that little succulent to form the top of my pineapple and I am just gluing those on kind of following, you know, the structure of the pineapple and then overlapping a little here in the middle um, just to kind of fill up the space and, and make the top of my pineapple. What I wanted to do with this was to make a pineapple out of seashells. So this turned out really cute as well and it's super fun and creative. I just add a little bit more of that little succulent until I'm happy with it. I just want it to look nice and full and kind of like the top of a, like a 3D a pineapple. Now for the seashells, I'm going to use this one. These are the little seashells that come in the little glass bottles from the Dollar Tree. And I thought we could cover the entire thing with these. So I just put like a row of hot glue down. And I'm just gonna cover the whole thing so that like, you know how we use like the solo flowers to make the pineapple? This one's gonna have like one seashell for each section of the pineapple. It turned out really cool too. So I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of having them all be upright to kind of keep my pattern kind of with the point down on all these and I'm using all the same kind of shell. I think that's kind of important too. And again, these are the, just the little glass bottle shells from the Dollar Tree. I like to put them in those little toy organizers from the Dollar Tree because I think um, they're easier to work with that way and you can get to them a little bit better. And I just fill up my entire pineapple with them. Now, once I got them all glued on, I did kind of still want to kind of make it look more like a pineapple by making it browner and kind of covering that galvanized uh, metal um, in the back. So I'm just going to use Antique Wax by Waverly and I just go all over my shelves to kind of stain them brown. And then I decided to go in and paint the galvanized metal in the back just to kind of really cover that a little bit better. And I'm just using a little paintbrush so I can kind of get in all the different areas to kind of paint those brown. And then just using a baby wipe to kind of just blend that all out together, cover it up a little bit and make it look a little bit better. This was so fun to make and it turned out so cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to pull this one off, but I think I totally did. It was definitely one of my favorite pineapple DIYs today. Now to finish it off, I thought I would take a little um, twine from Dollar Tree, just wrap it around the top and tie a little bow here just to finish it off. And we have a little seashell pineapple. Isn't that fun? And this is how it looks on my coffee bar. You can hardly tell they're seashells, right? And it looks great next to my little rope pineapple that we made as well. Now for the next DIY, I thought we could get really creative and use one of these little pineapple ice trays ice cube trays from the Dollar Tree and make a, a little tiny pineapple plant. Um, uh, we live in an area where you can grow pineapples and I've actually went to pineapple farms and bought pineapples, cut the tops off and grow my own pineapples. The only thing is, is as soon as they're ready, you have to be there because the animals will find them and take a bite out of your pineapple first. And it's so sad when that happens. But I just fill up the entire ice cube tray for the pineapple 
with hot glue. And then I'm gonna go pop that in the refrigerator so that will set up even faster to make a little tiny pineapple for a pineapple plant. And I'm using this succulent pick again. I think it really looks like a pineapple plant. Also looks like a um, top of a pineapple too. So I'm just cutting it down a little bit and I wanna fit it in this little light blue pot I got. I think I got this at the Target dollar spot. It's like a little light blue pot. You can use whatever you have. I just need a little tiny piece of foam. So I cut that down to size and just put my little succulent pick down inside to be my little tiny pineapple plant. And as you can see, that pot was only a dollar. So it was even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I've noticed Dollar General and Target Dollar Spot, you know, you can still find items for a dollar. And I just cut off the very top of it. Here is our little hot glue pineapple that we made out of the ice cube tray. I'm just carefully pushing that out and it came out so cute. It has such a great shape and it has like a really cute little pineapple texture on there. It's kind of hard to show you with the camera, but we're gonna paint it and then you'll be able to see that a little bit better. So again, I'm using brown paint and I'm gonna paint the pineapple part that brown color using a brush so I can get in between the different textures there of the pineapple. And it has that crisscross design on there that you would have like on a pineapple. So once I got that one painted brown, I just need to paint the top of it green. And I'm using this bright green Christmas green color for the top. of my little pineapple. And you can still use your heat gun on this even though it's made out of hot glue. I decided to do the back as well because I thought you might be able to see it since I'm gonna put it on top of the little pineapple plant. So brown and green back there as well. And then for the pineapple little crisscross, I decided to draw that back on with a yellow paint pen just to kind of make that stand out a little bit more because it was kind of hard to see the texture with that dark brown. And then I go back and distress that with some more brown. Now, this is how it grows on the top of a little pineapple plant. So I just attach mine with a little bit of hot glue. Hot gluing on our little hot glue pineapple. Once I got it on there, I thought my greenery needed a little bit lighter green. So I decided to go back in there with this like lighter, like celery shade, kind of distress that to kind of make that match my pineapple plant a little bit better. And this was so easy to make and it turned out so cute. It's my little tiny pineapple plant for my coffee bar, a fun little DIY for summer. Okay, the next DIY, I wanted to use these little coasters from the summer section at Dollar Tree. They are little yellow pineapples. And that is like the easiest thing you can use to make a like a little pennant banner for summer. And I love to do that on the shelves of my coffee bar. They're so easy. They already have holes cut in the top. They're made out of felt. And so I'm just using some Dollar Tree jute twine and just stringing through the holes that are already on there. And we have a super easy little pineapple banner. I love making things out of these little felt coasters from Dollar Tree because um, they're so cute. I decided to do two. I have two shelves on my coffee bar. So I decided I would do one for each shelf since they're so perfect for a little pennant banner. And again, just stringing through the hole that's on there. I like to attach these with like a little drop of hot glue on each side of my shelf um, because I often put little pennant banners on my coffee bar and this is how they look on my coffee bar. And that is the last project for my coffee bar, but I have way more pineapple DIYs for you today. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek of how my pineapple coffee bar turned out. You can see the full reveal on that during the final reveal towards the end of the video. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment and let you know about my Facebook group. I always have it linked in the description below. We would love to see you over on Facebook. You can find out when I post new videos and you can see what everybody else is making. I've also got a Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and threads. And my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube. 
Okay, next DIY is gonna be for a pineapple tear tray. So I picked up one of these little pineapple plastic cups from Dollar Tree, and I thought we could make this look a little bit better. So I just removed the tag on the bottom. I'm gonna reverse this and make the bottom the top and replace the greenery because the greenery um, I didn't really like that came with the cup. So I picked up one of these little succulents from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't make quite as good of a pineapple top as that other one we were using, but it'll work in a pinch. So I just need a hole here in the bottom of my pineapple cup. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife to cut like a little X shape in there so that I can put my greenery right down inside to form the top of a pineapple. But I do want to distress it. I don't want it to just look like yellow plastic. So I'm going to use some Antique Wax by Waverly and a brush. And we're going to distress that great texture on the side of this plastic pineapple cup to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. Sometimes you can craft with these little like summer plastic cups and make some really cute things with them. Sometimes they're a little hard. One of my favorite things I've done with these was my luau video um, using the little tiki guys. They were great to work with. The little tiki cups and stuff. But I distress all over and it made it look a lot better. It gave it definitely some more depth with a little bit of brown in there too. It's gonna be a really ripe yellow pineapple. And I do cut off a few of the ends on the plant just because they were a little long and stringy, more than you would see on a pineapple. So I do trim them up a little bit before I add this to my pineapple. And I just wanted, you know, a really inexp inexpensive, cute little pineapple to sit on my tear tray. The tear tray we're decorating today is a large um, three tear tray. So we're gonna need lots of little pineapple DIYs for summer. So I just push that right down in there and that hole that we created on the top. And then the only thing I'm really gonna need to disguise on this now is the bottom. It has that area where the lid screwed on. And so I'm just gonna kind of cover that up with some burlap ribbon. So I just cut a piece down to size. And I just, I don't really need the wire or anything on there like that. I'm just going to try to cover this part up with the raw edge like this and just disguise that a little bit. It's also going to make a little base to stand this up, make it a little bit taller for my tear tray. Hey guys, recognize this little pineapple. Uh, it's really funny because I didn't realize I've done this pineapple project two times, kind of the same project. But for this one, I use the existing top. So I decided to leave this one in here just to kind of show you how it looks with the existing top instead of replacing it with the succulent top like we just did for the coffee bar. But again, this one was kind of coming apart too. I just kind of hot glued it back together. And I guess um, I really want to have a rope pineapple because it looks like I used rope on this one as well. <laughs> So I'm using the thinner rope from the Dollar Tree and we are just going to wrap that around the pineapple just like before. But in the end, we're going to leave that existing top on there. It still looks really cute. So you can kind of see what it looks like this way as well. But since we just did this DIY, I'm going to speed this way up because <laughs> basically it's the same thing. One rope's not enough. You got to start with another one to finish it off. And I love recreating these little tinsel things from the Dollar Tree. They're so easy to do and you can get some great shapes like this for summer, like this little pineapple one. So I'm just burning off my edges. And as you can see, even without replacing the top, it is still super cute and just the perfect size for a little pineapple tear tray. Okay, and next DIY is one of these little light up pineapples. They have these again this year. They're so cute. They're little LED light up pineapples and they're the perfect size for a tear tray. I do want to kind of distress mine with some Antique Wax by Waverly. Kind of make it look a little bit better and a little bit less plasticky. So I distress the whole thing. I distress the greenery. I distress the pineapple and you can still light it up and it looks super cute, but I think this is a no brainer for a pineapple tear tray. It's just asking for one, right? I kind of wipe the excess Antique Wax by Waverly off the little points to kind of make them more yellow like a pineapple would be. 
And it's so cute because you can turn the light on as well. I love these things, they're so fun. Okay, the next pineapple DIY is one of these little wood signs with the bases. This is kind of like the metal one we used before, but this has got like the little crisscross pineapple and it's all made out of wood. I thought we could decorate this and make it look really cute for a pineapple tear tray. So the first thing I'm doing is just kind of taping off the leaves and the base of it. And then I'm gonna go in with some Antique Wax by Waverly and stain this part of the pineapple. It's got this great cutout on there. And this is perfect for staining with this. Now, since it's on a tear tray, I'm gonna go in and do the back as well, in case you can see it back there, and just to kind of make it look more finished. Once I got that off, I'm using this like leafy green color for the top of my pineapple. For the greenery part there. And again, since it's on a tear tray, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back as well. And I'm gonna use that same color for the base of my sign as well. And I kinda wanted these to kinda be bright green. That's why I did not distress them first with the Antique Wax by Waverly and taped them off instead. And I'm trying to do the base there too without getting any on the pineapple that we stained. And just finishing it up. I do go back with a slight distress with that Antique Wax by Waverly. On the base and the greenery and this turned out so cute. They have so many items like this at Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Um, especially when you have a theme like pineapples like this that you can DIY. This one's very similar. This one is also from Crafter Square, but this one, it has the back with the little battery operated like candle in it, or you can light this one up. So I thought we would take advantage of that and we can kind of make a little light up pineapple for the tear tray as well. As you can see, the structure of it's very similar to the one that we just did. And I'm gonna kind of do the same treatment here on the front of it, staining it with some Antique Wax by Waverly first. And then painting the leafy top part, like this um, leafy green color. And I wasn't sure if you were, if I needed to paint the back or not. I do kind of go back and touch it up um, because I was afraid you'd be able to see like these little sections here in the middle. So I go in and kind of stain those as well, but it's kind of hard to get to some of those areas on the inside of these lights. Now I thought it'd be really fun to go in with some of this yellow tissue paper from Dollar Tree and have like a yellow paper behind the cutout, which is gonna make the pineapple glow with the yellow sections. So I just kind of sketched out the size of the pineapple on my tissue paper. And we're just gonna cut this down to size. The tissue paper is nice and thin, so the light definitely shines through it really easily. And kind of pull it through there. So it kind of like acts like a pineapple window. Like that, perfect fit. Now to attach it in there, I decided to use a little like glue stick um, just around the edges. I thought that'd probably be the easiest thing to use on the tissue paper. And slide it back in there and glue it to the edges of the pineapple. Kind of like a little stained window effect there. Sorry about my head being in the shot. <laughs> And look how cute that looks all lit up. I'm just going in with a little bit more distress there on my leaves and my tear tray, um, um, my little pineapple. And then I was afraid you kind of still be able to see the back. So I decided even though it was kind of hard to get in there, um, I'm gonna try to paint the back, at least the areas that I think you're gonna be able to see when it's all lit up. So I just kind of paint the back as far as I can get in there. It'd be kind of easier if you could take these apart and the pieces and paint them and kind of put them back together, but I really didn't want to break it, but I got the look I was looking for. 
and you'll be able to see that um, when I put the tear tray together. Now the next couple items, this is a pineapple cat toy, and I also found a pineapple dog toy, both on clearance at, Dal um, at Target, and I thought they would be perfect for a tear tray. I'm always looking um, all departments and all stores for things to DIY with, and nobody would know that these were like dog and cat toys. They're so cute. Perfect for a little pineapple tear tray. Now, this is that metal pineapple that we did before for the coffee bar. I'm going to show you a different technique I use to decorate this one. I'm going to start just by staining the wood base of this with some antique wax by Waverly, just to make it a little bit darker brown color. And then I thought we could have some fun decorating this one as well. So I'm going to paint this one. So I'm going to paint the greenery part with this leafy green color and acrylic. And then I'm going to use some yellow. And this is a yellow chalk paint. It probably works a little bit better on the galvanized metal, but I don't think it really matters too much. And I go over the front of it with the yellow. Now I do want a little bit better coverage. So after I got that dried, I did go back in with one more coat and now comes the magic part. I'm gonna take Dollar Tree twine and glue it here in the corner of the top. And we're gonna do that crisscross pineapple pattern with the Dollar Tree twine. I'm leaving the yellow background. I thought that would be so cute. So you do have to use a little hot glue to kind of keep this in place, but basically I am wrapping this diagonally around my pineapple all the way down. Then I wrap it around the other way and then I'm coming back and I'm wrapping it diagonally this way, matching up the ends and it forms this great crisscross pattern. I was really impressed with how easy that was to do. And I'm just gonna glue off my end piece to the back. We have a little crisscross pineapple. Isn't that cute? It was so easy too. This is another Crafter Square Pineapple. I told you they have a lot of items like this. This is the little box one. Now it's kind of shaped strange for a pineapple, but I thought we could make a little, you know, pineapple greenery arrangement for a pineapple tree, tear tray. I always like to have a little greenery on my tear tray. And so the first thing I'm doing is going in and painting this ivory all over the surface of the, just to not make it be the natural wood, I kind of wanted it to be this like whiter ivory color and I painted all the outsides of my box. And then once I get that on there, I'm gonna go in with some yellow chalk paint and distress it, kind of working in one direction for the front and all four sides of my pineapple to bring in a little yellow here. I'm not sure the shade of yellow for that chalk paint. I'll have to see if I can find that and put that in the description below. Then I'm gonna go in, of course, with some Antique Wax by Waverly and distress. This time I'm gonna try to distress that crisscross in a distress pattern. Let's see if we can pull that off. So I go in one direction and then I go back in another direction. I've done this before with like um, ice cream cones. It does kind of give you a cool little crisscross effect. And I'm gonna do the same thing here on the back by doing one row one way, one row the next way, and also a little crisscrossing on the sides. Now for the top, we're gonna use this like leafy green color and paint the greenery part of our pineapple. I kind of wanted this one to look, you know, kind of abstract, but I definitely wanted the top of the pineapple to be green. And I'm gonna go back and kind of paint the edges there too. And we have a little pineapple pot. So it's ready for some greenery. I'm gonna put some Dollar Tree foam inside, just cutting down a little block to size. And then I'm gonna use some of this tropical foliage. It's not really like a pineapple top, but it doesn't really have to be, but I think it looks nice and fun and tropical for summer. So I just cut the pieces apart using my little floral scissors from Dollar Tree. 
and fill up our little pineapple planter. This one was really easy to put together and it's definitely, I like that I went with some different colors um, on this um, for some variety. I wrap some twine around the top of my pineapple and tie that off just to finish off this cute little pineapple pot. And that definitely helped the transition there between the paint and the distress parts and just kind of arranging my greenery as well. Now this DIY was so easy. I took one of these little succulents from the Dollar Tree and a little dollar spot yellow candle and I just sit the top of the succulent down into the candle and the sides of this little um, candle look like a pineapple already. And so I did hot glue it down because I didn't want it to kind of like fall off but it is a candle, but I kind of made it look like a pineapple. I thought it'd be cute for a tear tray. This yellow vase I actually got at Dollar General. Um, for a couple of dollars, it's yellow and white, so I thought it'd be perfect with pineapple theme. And then I'm gonna decorate it with one of these little wood pineapple stickers from the summer section at Dollar Tree, just stained with some antique wax by Waverly. And I am just going to glue that on the little tag sign on this little yellow and white vase. And I think this is gonna be a really cute addition for a little pineapple tear tray. I'm not gonna put any greenery or anything in it. I'm just gonna kind of use it for this fun yellow vase. And I like the little pineapple on there too. Now we're gonna make a cute little pineapple sign for my tear tray. So I'm using one of these kind of fancy wood plaque um, frames from the Dollar Tree. And we are staining it with some antique wax by Waverly, my favorite thing, as you can tell to get this great stained image. And I thought we could make a really easy little pineapple sign using one of these little kind of puffy stickers from the Dollar Tree. I found like a puffy pineapple one on there and I thought that would be cute for a little sign. I don't often use the stickers. I always try to buy them all the time at Dollar Tree, but these puffy ones work great for DIYs. So I am just going to use a little hot glue to make sure it stays on there and put my little pineapple over here to the side. And then we have plenty of room there for a word for our little sign. And I'm just gonna use a paint pen and we're just gonna do a simple hand painted sign for this. And I chose my yellow paint pen. And of course I thought Aloha would be perfect, right? So I'm just gonna draw Aloha on there like in that Ray Dunn skinny font. It's pretty easy to do once you get used to doing it and draw that on with my paint pen. And that was so easy to make and I think it's really pretty. It's gonna tie my whole pineapple tear tray together and it's so cute for summertime. Hey guys, if you want some Christmas in July DIYs, be sure to check out my last video. I had so much fun putting those together. Okay, the next DIY, I used a Dollar Tree yellow and white pot. It had blue spots on it, which I removed with that fingernail polish remover, which is a great trick. And then a little succulent candle also from a Dollar Tree. I thought those would be really cute little pineapple items as well. Now look at this, I found another pineapple luggage tag. I love decorating with these. This one's like a whole pineapple. And I thought we could make a really cute little um, pineapple crate with this one. So I picked up this wood crate from a Crafter Square at Dollar Tree and I kind of want to stand it on its side and make a little crate sign with the pineapple on the front. So after cleaning it up a little bit um, with a little emery board that works great for sanding in between, I used some antique wax by Waverly all over our little crate just to stain this. And I'm gonna wipe off the excess. It's gonna give me a great stain. And I love decorating with these. This um, little crate is just the perfect size for a tear tray. And I thought we'd just make a cute little pineapple crate with it. I have found so many of these luggage tags and different themes that I've decorated before. I just attached my little pineapple luggage tag right there to our, our little crate. And then I'm also gonna distress the pineapple because it has this great texture on it with that Antique Wax by Waverly just to kind of bring out that great texture and make it look cooler. And then just like before, I'm gonna cover the little slit with a little tied bow of jute twine from Dollar Tree right on top. 
It's going to act like a little pineapple sign, but it's also a crate, so it's going to stand up on its side, and it's going to stand up nicely on my tear tray, and it's just a perfect size. Isn't that cute? And it was so easy to make. I love those little luggage tags. Okay, I wanted to do a custom wood bead garland for this tear tray. And so I'm gonna use some raw wood beads that I got on Amazon. I have these linked in my store below, but you know, Dollar Tree has wood beads now as well, so you could totally use those as well. And I'm gonna use the same colors that we used on our tear tray. So I'm using this yellow chalk paint to do like five of the wood beads in yellow. And I found a great little pineapple lip balm at Dollar Tree as well. So I thought that would be perfect for a wood bead garland. So we have those all yellow. I'm gonna do a five more here in Antique Wax by Waverly because we use this color a lot today. And this is also a color that would be in a pineapple. So I just stain all of those, wiping off the excess with a paper towel. And whenever you have to stain or paint your own wood beads, it's kind of time consuming. So I'm speeding this up so that we're not here all day. <laughs> and then I'm using that leafy green color to paint five more. I'm kind of um, alternating sizes as you can see there as well. Now to make a DIY um, tassel, I just wrap it around all four fingers, some of this Dollar Tree twine, and then I just tie it off at the top forming a very easy little tinsel, um, tassel here for my wood bead garland. Really easy to make yourself. And then I can use that same jute twine from Dollar Tree to thread this up. You know, you can put hot glue on the end or you can put a little painter's tape or a needle. I just kind of want to string this through my tassel so that I can tie this off and get started with this wood bead garland. I'm also using that painter's tape like a needle, right, to string all these on. And I'm just kind of alternating my colors for my little custom pineapple um, wood bead garland and tying that off here at the end. Now you can see that little pineapple lip balm. I actually got this at Target now that I'm thinking about it, but I have found similar items like that at the Dollar Tree, but this one I actually found at Target and I think it was like in the little girl section actually. I'm going to paint the bottom of the lip balm yellow with that same yellow chalk paint. I didn't realize till I just looked at the package, but that's just more than magic. That's definitely a Target brand. And I am just going to tie off my tassel here a little bit more at the end to do a little wrap around to kind of make this look a little bit better down here. For this, one end's gonna have a tassel and one end is gonna have a little pineapple. And whenever you do your own garland like this, you can custom make it like this. Like my colors are perfect. They're all the colors that we use today for this pineapple tear tray. I'm gonna glue this in on and then I can glue the little pineapple lip gloss to that last bead. A little hot glue in the crown, the greenery right there, and just stick that right on. That way I can dangle that down the side of my tear tray. I did distress my little pineapple a little bit um, with some yellow chalk paint just to make it match my little garland a little bit better. Take away some of the plastic feel of it. But that part's totally optional. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna use just a little bit more of this Dollar Tree twine and tie a cute little bow around our little pineapple here at the end. And then the next few items are just gonna be some items that we're gonna use like for filler for the tear tray to make it nice full pineapple tear tray. And then I'll show you how I put it together. I'm gonna use a little sand succulent from Dollar Tree and some of these like kind of white tropical flowers um, just to kind of act as filler in there. And I think they look really summery as well. And let's put it together. This is my like really large three tier galvanized metal tear tray. I'm gonna sit this pineapple right on top. As you can see, it doesn't have a center so I could go right over the pole. So it makes a perfect top for my tear tray. Our little Dollar Tree a succulent candle there. 
kind of looks like the top of a pineapple. Our little DIY Aloha sign can go right up against our pineapple if we can get them all to stand up right. I decided a little plate rack might do the job better. One of my friends um, has been 3D printed those for me. They are great for tear trays. And then here's that beautiful little wood bead garland that we made. And we can dangle the little pineapple over the side. Here is one of those little white flowers, makes a perfect little filler for a pineapple tear tray. And we can move on to tear tray number two. Here's the little wood crate that we stained and added the little pineapple luggage tag to, so cute. A little rope pineapple is the perfect size for a little pineapple summer tear tray. Here is the little light up pineapple as well. And this is our other little light up pineapple. This is the one that we made with the tissue paper and the little pineapple from Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I love that one. It turned out so cool. And our little pineapple candle. It's looking really pineapple-y. <laughs> A few of the white flowers to fill up any of the spaces. You could also do like a yellow flower would look really pretty too as a filler. Or just some greenery too would work too. And I think that tier looks pretty good. So let, this is our largest tier. The bottom, we're gonna start with that Target little pineapple dog toy. Definitely needs something to stand up against. Our little yellow and white uh, planter that we made. I just put one of those white flowers in it for fun. And this little yellow and white vase that we also got at Dollar General. Standing my little pineapple dog toy up. Those are great for the back because they're nice and tall and colorful. Colors are perfect for pineapple tear tray. Here is our little pineapple planter that we filled with the tropical plants. This little pineapple, I love that that one's kind of see-through too. That's kind of cool too. Dollar Tree DIY and the little galvanized metal one in the front. I think that might be one of my favorite DIYs in this project. A little sand succulent kind of looks like a pineapple as well. And little pineapple cat toy over here is going to fill it in nicely. And then just finish it off with a few more of those little white tropical flowers. And it turned out so fun. I'll show you the whole thing here in the final reveal. I wanted to take a moment and let you know that I've introduced memberships on my channel. For $4.99 a month, you can help support me here at Crafty Beach. You're going to get early ad-free access to my videos and shout outs. I want to give you a huge shout out and thank you to the following Crafty Beach fund members. Thank you to Karen O'Haran, Coastal Couple, Pamela Bergeron, I Am Mojo Jojo, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job. Susan Edmonds, Sandra Ray, Carrie R, Tracy Knight, and Verna Noctigal. Thank you so much for supporting me here at Crafty Beach. I really appreciate you. And now it's time for the final reveal. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm. Comment your favorite DIY below or just come say hello in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 20,000.
thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to watch more Crafty Beach, YouTube thinks you might enjoy this video right here.